Hello viewers, I'm Simon Preston and welcome to Reggae Boys Commentary. So this is a video that I've been wanting to do for quite some time now and let me put it this way. I always have this ambition about 2026 that 2026 would be a special year for Jamaica. So what I've done, I've compiled a potential 23 man squad for Jamaica. And let me know your thoughts in the comments below, your thoughts about the squad that I have compiled for this 23-man squad. This is a squad that I think that can take Jamaica to even the round of 32 or round of 16 of the 2026 World Cup, because remember, it's gonna be a 48-team tournament. Top two teams from each group advance to the round of 32, from the round of 32, round of 16, round of eight, semi-finals, and then the final. I think this squad that I have in my hand can take us that distance. So what could a Jamaican squad look like for the 2026 FIFA World Cup in USA, Canada, and Mexico? Well, here we go. The man between the sticks, Andre Blake. Yes, Andre Blake is was born in 1990, and by the time 2026 comes around, he's going to be 35 going on 36. He'll turn 36 in November of that year, but the World Cup will be in June, July of that year. I think Andre Blake at that time will be at the prime of his career, and as we know the length of time for goalkeepers, it is really a time that they can flourish into something special. So let's hope it's in that trajectory for Andre Blake, because I still think he can offer something to the national program, even in his mid to late 30s. Number two, right back. Ethan Laird. Yes, Ethan Laird of Manchester United, born in the year 2001. By the time 2026 comes around, he's going to be 25 years of age. A right back that has tremendous potential, scores goals, puts in crosses, loves a nutmeg, or as we call it in Jamaica, salad. So this guy, Ethan Laird, he is one to watch for sure. And a player that should be part of the 2026 World Cup squad, all being well. So Ethan Laird, I have in the 23-man squad. Left back, we go to Dimitri Mitchell. Yes, Dimitri Mitchell for Manchester United. Left back, he actually started his career as a striker, but then he was converted to a left back in the academy, played one game for United senior team, went on loan a couple of times, and now playing his trade at Blackpool. Signed a two-year contract recently. He was born in the year 1997, so what that means is that by the time the World Cup comes around in 2026, he is going to be 28 going on 29. So, let's move on to another position, shall we? Center backs. Number four, Ricardo Henning. Yes, Ricardo Henning of FC Cologne in Germany. Plays with the second team right now, but based on his age and by the time when the World Cup comes around in 2026, he's gonna be in his mid to late 20s. An individual that can be the heartbeat for the future to come. And who better to pair with him alongside him than twin tower center half, Jamie Lawrence. Jamie Lawrence of Bayern Munich, born in the year 2002. So by the time 2026 comes around, he's gonna be just 24 years of age. Jamie Lawrence, one to watch, six feet, six inches tall. And guess what? He is not done growing just yet. Jamie Lawrence, Ricardo Henning at central defense for the Reggae Boys, the German heartbeat for the Jamaicans, in Canada, USA, and Mexico 2026. At number six, on this list I have a player that can be a center back or even a holding midfielder. That's Michael Hector. This player doesn't read any, need any other introductions, right? Born in the year 1992, so by the time the World Cup comes around, he's gonna be 34 at that time. And yes, we look at the age and say, well, can he contribute at that age? I still think he has a little bit of tank left in the gas at that time, so Michael Hector for me, in the 23-man squad, going to USA, Canada, and Mexico. Number seven, Leon Bailey. Yes, Leon Bailey. You know the song by Popcorn? Leon Bailey, Bala. <laughs> so Leon Bailey is gonna be 29 years of age by the time the World Cup comes around, and he is a player that needs to be in the squad for 2026. Whether this guy is playing in England, Germany, Spain, France, Holland, China, Qatar, UAE, Brazil, MLS. This guy is on the plane and sitting in first class. Number eight, a holding midfielder, K. 
Kevin Lambert. Kevin Lambert, born 1997, plays for Phoenix Rising FC in the United Soccer League and will only be 29 years of age. So he'll be in his peak of his career. And can you imagine if between now and 2026, Kevin Lambert goes to Europe? His performances are only going to improve as a player. Kevin Lambert, one to watch and one on the plane, going all the way to USA, Canada, and Mexico. The number nine, the man that will score the goals for Jamaica, Shamar Boza Nicholson. Shamar Nicholson, Charlois, born 1997, and guess what? By the time the World Cup comes around, he's only going to be 29 years of age. A player that is, if he continues on this trajectory, play another season in Belgium, and then be playing his trade in either Germany, England, Spain, France, or Portugal. Watch out for Shamar Bowza Nicholson, the man with the goals and the man with the height. Number 10, Lamar Walker. Yes, Lamar Walker already has a goal for Jamaica, scored against Aruba in the CONCACAF Nations League. Will, will be in his mid-20s by the time the, the World Cup comes around in 2026. Will certainly add that, that attacking force that we need. And if you see the potential now, if he's able to realize that potential, this guy could very much be the star of the tournament for Jamaica. Number 11. Who else could it be but the boss, Ravel Morrison. I know, I know, you guys were expecting Adrian Mariapa. But guess what? Adrian Mariapa, by the time 2026 comes around, he's going to be 39 going on 40. And although he says he wants to play till he's 40, I just don't see him in the 23-man squad. Even though if he had one leg, I would try my best to put him as a reserve player, but I don't see Mariapa in the 2026 squad. 2022 is his last chance to compete at a FIFA World Cup. But back on that man, number 11, Ravel Morrison. Born in the year 1993, so by the time 2026 comes around, he's going to be, yes, your math is brilliant, 33 years of age, a player that can still have the strength, ability, temperament to handle international football. Ravel Morrison is in the mix. Here's an interesting one that I've put in the mix. Dwayne Atkinson. Remember Cavalier? Kingston College? Yep, Dwayne Atkinson. I've seen this guy play from Kasafa under 15 days and let me tell you something. Remember the name. Remember the name Dwayne Atkinson. This guy is going to be 24, 25 by the time the World Cup comes around and he's going to be that additional spark we need from the right hand side, the left hand side, or even he can play through the hole. Dwayne Atkinson, remember the name. 13, number 13, our understudy to Andre Blake, Jadine White. Jadine White at this point in time, born in the year 2000, so by the time he is 26, it's going to be 2026. So yeah, 26 year of, years of age, I expect him to move on from Humble Lion and I expect him to be playing minimum at this stage of his career, 26, in the United Soccer League. Jadine White as the backup to Andre Blake. Also having the squad at number 14, Tyreek McGee. Yes, Tyreek McGee, that same guy that scored a bullet of a goal for Jamaica's under 20s against Mexico in 2018. Tyreek McGee is in the squad and on the plane to the World Cup. How could we forget as well, at number 15, Peter Lee Vassal. Yes, he needs to find a club. I know, I know. But guess what? Peter Lee Vassal is going to be 25, 26 by the time the World Cup comes around. At peak condition, he's going to be in the mix. Trust me. Number 16, we're going with Zach Brown of Norwich City. Yep. Zach Brown of Norwich City is going to be only 24 by the time the World Cup comes around. Solid defender and he's going to be a great understudy to the likes of Henning and Lawrence. Zach Brown, Norwich City. The backup right back now, Max Ahrens. Max Ahrens right back at Norwich City. The cousin to Rolanda Ahrens. Oh man, I gave away one of my players. Anyways, Max Ahrens in the squad. A backup left back and a backup central midfielder who will be 27 by the time the World Cup comes around is Denzel Hall. That's right, Denzel Hall, Feinhard will be an Eredivisie player by that time and he will be on the plane for Jamaica. 
Number 19, Rolando Aarons. Yes, the cousin of Max Aarons. Rolando Aarons, already born in Jamaica, and we know about his story already. Has a Jamaican passport, and ready, ready, ready to represent the black, green, and gold. Number 20, here is a twist, you could say, in proceedings. He was born in 1997, or actually 1998. So by the time the World Cup comes around, he's going to be 28. This man is... Do -do -do -do, Nathaniel Adam Alekan, clinical finisher, goal scorer, and this is a man that you need with height, presence, everything. If I had to compare him to Shamar Nicholson, Shamar Nicholson will more be that aggressor to win back possession. But if you need a fox in the box, Nathaniel is that man. Nathaniel Adam Alekan, he's on the plane. Number 21, Nikki Daly, playing in USL right now, but Nikki by the time the World Cup comes around, will be on the plane. Nikki Daly, remember the name, on the plane to the World Cup. Number 22, he's scoring goals for fun at the moment in the United Soccer League. 12 goals in 12 games. What is his name? Junior Flemings. Junior Flemings is in the squad. And finally, the 23rd and final place. Remember, we've only named two goalkeepers, so who do you think I put in? Who do you think I put in? Do you think I put in Dwayne Miller? No. As much as I'd like him in the mix, he's going to be 39 going on 40 at that point in time. Did I put in Dennis Taylor? No, I didn't. Did I put in Akeem Chambers? No, I didn't. Did I put in Damien Hyatt? No, I didn't. Did I put in Jamal Blackman? No. He doesn't even have Jamaican roots. The man that I put in the squad as the 23rd and final place is Amal Knight. Amal Knight will be 33 by the time the World Cup comes around. No lie, he'll be 32. He'll be going on 33 that year because he's born November 1993. Big month, big year in Bonn. All right, Reggae Boys fans, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Tell me what you think about the 23. Is there a surprise? Is there a name that I left off that you think can be in the squad? What do you think about the squad's chances if this is a 23 that goes to the 2026 FIFA World Cup? Do you think that this is a squad capable of great things? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And just before we wrap this video, let me just show you the 23-man squad in terms of personnel. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten. There are 13 Jamaican-born players in the squad and 10 non-Jamaican-born players. One American-born, that's, that's Nathaniel Adam Lakan. There's, there's two German-born, that's, that's Ricardo Henning and that's Jamie Lawrence. And one Dutch-born, that is none other than Denzel Hall. And the rest are English-born players. So, Reggae Boys fans, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary. Take care.